All right, guys, Joe with Hunt Fish Shoot here. Uh, today, we're gonna go over my, uh, my new hunting machine that I've got for this year. If you guys like this video, drop us a comment, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, today we're gonna go over the Rad Mini by Rad Power Bikes. So I've wanted an e-bike for a really long time. Um, they've always been out of reach. I know Quiet Cat makes some Rambo bikes, but they've also, always been super expensive um rad came out with these bikes i'm not sure how long rad's been along but this is the rad mini this bike uh, right now i believe is about 14.99 you know and that's opposed to some other bikes like rambo and quiet cat and their bikes are anywhere between four to seven thousand dollars which is ridiculous in my opinion for a powered bicycle but this bike has been awesome i've been using it to get in and out of the tree stand and riding it to and from the blind, wherever I'm going, you can get there super quiet, silent, uh, doesn't hardly make any noise at all. This bike in particular, like I said before, is the Rad Mini. So this bike actually folds up, which is badass. It folds up, I throw it right in the truck. All you gotta do is you turn this knob like that, you lift up on it and the bike breaks apart and then you set it down and the handlebar actually folds folds down like that and the whole bike folds up like that and then all you got to do is throw it right up in your truck so that part is sweet that's actually why i got this bike and then to put it you just close that lever tighten it down and then put the lever like that and now you're all locked in ready to go so this bike has got suspension on the front that's adjustable it works really good. I actually, my mom's got a rad power bike as well and it had no suspension and she's laid up right now. So I've been running it back and forth to the tree stand before I got this and it is rough. Um, this with the shocks is way better. It's super smooth. Uh, and again, you can adjust them actually the stiffness of suspension that you want. Um, this bike's got disc brakes all the way around on the front and the back by Shimano. So high quality brake. Uh, it's a 750 watt bike and I believe this bike comes in at about 67 pounds so it's actually it's fairly heavy but it has saved me so much time going back and forth to the tree stand you know i'll run off work and it saves easily where i'm going 20 to 25 minutes a hunt so and then getting out at night it's actually got a headlight on the front that's activated by the lcd screen on the front and that's super super awesome for lighting your way as you're coming out of the tree stand so overall man this bike is it's badass um it's got a lithium ion battery on it. Um, they say the battery life on it is about 45 miles. I haven't got to ch check that and see if it's accurate or not, just because you know, I'm only running back and forth up in the field or woods or wherever. And, uh, so, but it seems accurate. I know I took my daughter for like a 10 mile ride the other day and the bar went down like one or two bars. So it's gotta be pretty close. But one thing that is a giant negative about this bike is the tires that they put on it. Um, they label this bike as all-terrain, and these tires are an absolute liability in the mud, I'm telling you, they're terrible. Um, so I've actually got some new tires sitting at the shop that I gotta put on, but I think after that, it's gonna be a sweet hunting machine. Uh, it's a relatively affordable, as opposed to some other brands that are out there. It's quiet, you don't lay any scent down as you're coming in and out. If you're checking trail cameras, you put all your cameras in your backpack, run them out there as opposed to riding a four-wheeler or something that makes noise, leaves, leaves smell in the woods. Overall though, it's, it's awesome. You know, you got a back rack. I'm actually gonna mount a bow holder for the back. Either that, I'm gonna put them on the handlebars, but right now I just hook my bow right to my backpack and just ride in and out of the woods. So, I mean, if you guys are looking for a great hunting machine, something that's quiet, easy, relatively affordable, I think a rad bike, something you, should, you guys should look at. Um, it's gonna come in super handy out west next time we go elk hunting uh, i know i'm already planning right now to get a bike rack for the trucks so we can bring it out there and i believe these are legal on all public lands so if you guys are looking for something go out and get your rad bike all right i'm going to show you guys how this rad bike gets fired up so all you got to do is you come over here you turn the key to that position you're going to come up to the handlebar there's a mode button that mode button activates basically gives you the power after you're after your key is turned on, the LCD screen is gonna fire up. So your LCD screen, it's gonna show your battery level, it's gonna show your speed, 
the odometer, which right now it says I got, I've got 20 miles, and uh, it's gonna show your watts that you're using. So there's also modes here. So what this mode does is as you increase the mode, that's how much power, that's how much power is going to the pedal assist. So as you pedal, it's different levels of power that it assists you as you're pedaling. So if it's all the way down at zero, you've got no assistance at all. And it's just, you're just pedaling like a normal bike. Um, you've also got your speeds over here. This bike has got seven speeds and it's all controllable right here, just like a normal bicycle. But right now this bike will do about 20 miles an hour and it's actually governed because there's been times where I know it's got more than 20 and it's just not doing it. Which what, for what I'm doing it for, you really don't need it but it's uh super easy and the way that you activate the light which this is another feature that's goofy to me i don't know why you couldn't put uh just a light button on there but you actually hit the up and the mode button at the same time then you'll see the screen light up you can see it when it's dark out and then the headlight is then on on the front so that mode that's kind of goofy and i believe you shut it off the same way yep you shut it off the same way it's all right, but the first time I tried it, I should have tried it beforehand, but I did it when I was in the woods about a half mile in, and it was dark as I came out of my tree stand. So, Now the other feature this thing has, and it's the best feature, is this. So if you have deer and you'd like to let them know you're coming, you just give them a little jingle. A little jingle, let them know you're headed to the tree. So, But uh, other than that, I think you guys should pick up a rad bike if you're looking for one. I think uh, it's affordable you know, relatively speaking, compared to a bicycle or a four-wheeler, um, and you get full power, you know, it's it's really changed the way I hunt. You know, it's made me a lot quieter getting in there, saves a ton of time. So if you guys like this video, uh, drop us a comment, like it, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks, guys. Stop me from dusting off my shoes. You might think you'll see.